Hey, what's up my friends, I'm Andrew Bacon. So about 15 months ago, June of 2022, I released my DIY garage floor epoxy video. And it's been about 15 months, obviously a little bit over a year. And so I thought I would shoot a quick update video, just sharing how it's been going, what I think about it, and if I'm glad that I did it. So let me just say, I am so pumped I took the time to do this. I was a little nervous about it. I actually put it off for weeks, but I am so glad I took the time to do this project. We use this room, this garage, all the time. It's, as you can see, all of our stuff's in here. And so take a look at how great it still looks. It's like I just did it. If you remember, the garage floor was super nasty and now it is just awesome and so super glad i took the time to do it i didn't do it perfect there's a couple things i learned the first one is make sure you fill all the holes so check this out so you want to make sure you fill the holes see there's one i missed right here and a little concrete a little sanding then that would have covered it nice and smooth and that's just something to keep in mind now obviously i can't even tell from here and so it's not that huge of a deal but something that if you're a perfectionist and you want to do it right make sure you knock that out the next thing i'm glad i did was painted the walls so that the connection here this is a concrete side here and it just kind of matches really nice all the way down and so i did that around the perimeter and i'm really glad i did that as you can see it just looks nice and clean and so that's good. And then the biggest thing I did wrong that I learned from was that, uh, well, I did it right. The clear coat was right with the sand and all that. It, it makes it kind of slip resistant because we get the rain and the snow here in Colorado. And so having that down is awesome. But one of the things I learned was that the clear coat and the sun do not get along. And so it's a little too sunny right here. So I'm going to show you when it gets cloudy. Uh, here in a little bit um, and I can actually show it to you but that six inches outside the garage doors when we have the garage door shut it reveals it exposes that little strip to the sun and so let me show you what I'm talking about uh, when it's shaded so check that out so right here about six inches it just turned a little yellow so that's something to note other thing that I just want to make note of is that large objects, heavy objects can scratch the surface. And so there's no scratches here. We don't keep anything here, but I do keep my two dumpsters in here and we have to move them in and out of the garage every week. And so they do scratch. I don't know if you can see that there, but they do scratch the clear coats. So if you've got dumpsters that you need to move in and out, we have to move ours in and out because we have to keep our dumpsters in the garage because we have bears in our neighborhood, if you can believe it. So those stay in here, they move in and out. So if you've got something heavy that you need to move in and out, you might want to consider that. We don't mind the scratches. It's not a huge deal. It's in the corner, but something just to keep in mind. Then lastly, the vehicles, I can't speak to if the vehicles will hurt the floor or not. So I've read a lot that the heat from the engine or the tires can cause it to peel up and, and mess them up. And so we don't do that. We keep our vehicles out in the driveway. But if I was going to pull them in and store them, I would make sure they were nice and cool before I put them in. So that's something to keep in mind. We do keep our camper here, though. And as you can see, no issues there. Looks real smooth and clean. Now, my camper does not weigh a ton, so that's probably why there's no issue. But as you can see, we're in and out of this room, this garage all the time. My office is uh, right back here. And I mean, we're just back and forth, back and forth. All of our storage, all of my workshop is all right here. And so I am so glad I took the time uh, to make uh, or to do the project and so just want to do a video kind of show you what i've learned kind of uh, throw out anything um to be honest that might be a nuisance and a problem and i just can't think of anything i'm so glad i took the time to do it if you haven't seen the video make sure you check it out that video is approaching a million views so i'd love to have you help us out with that and then yeah make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and stay connected with me as i make other videos and yeah thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next video thanks